Hello guys, so yesterday Microsoft released another build for the Insider Preview uh, for Windows Mobile and this build is the number 10536 uh, as you can see on the intro I updated from 10512 and you actually get two updates and you need to, uh, to update twice so if you update one the uh, first time then go check that for update and update the second time so you will not stay on uh, the build 10 uh, 514 and this build actually works pretty well as you can see on the lock screen I don't get that delay when the clock appears that delay was annoying me it was a pretty bad bug um, the build overall uh, works pretty well it's pretty fast uh, still not for a final release I guess because there's still some bugs here and there but the build overall it's uh, very it's okay for a daily use um, as you can see here, the quiet hours doesn't blink anymore, so now you can enable or disable it. For enable, you need to enable Cortana, and mobile hotspot it also works right now. Um, but if I want to to turn it on, I need to be connected to 3G or 4G to sell our data, not to Wi-Fi. So the build overall works pretty well. <laughs> Let me show you the build number. Uh, as you can see it works also pretty fast and well, also one improvement, uh, one not improvement, one addition that I saw is this here when you go in uh, device information uh, you don't need even more info it, it, it says installed RAM 1GB so before I think it Windows uh, Phone 8.1 there was somewhere you, can, you, could, you could saw the RAM but now with previous builds on Windows 10, there was no there was no information about RAM, and now they added again. Um, as you can see, the version 10.5.3.6. Blah, 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 blah. Um, also, when you update to this, uh, if you will install, of course, because I know there's many there's some people that uh, they want a final product, but even when the Windows 10 will be released. Uh, it will be released like Windows 10 for uh, desktops. It's not, not like a final product because they are still um, adding some, some stuffs. They are still correcting bugs and it will be always like this. There will be never like a final build. Yeah, there is a final build like a release, candidate release, but it's, it's still there will be some bugs here and there. So after you, if you install, after you, you update it will take some time for me it took like one hour um, you go in uh, play store uh, play store <laughs> and uh, in the store windows store also the windows store now opens uh, a bit faster it feels smoother like from previous one as you can see uh, it also works pretty well and check for updates go in uh, downloads and updates and check for updates and it will be update for the um, photos app and now the photos app it shows uh, the folders so they bring back folders from windows 8 or 8.1 um, collection uh, and now albums there was albums but folders they took it out and now they bring it back which uh, is good and many people was asking for uh, for, for folders uh, you can click and you have all the folders in your phone Hyperlapse, uh, camera roll, saved pictures, screenshots, Viber, Whatsapp um, and now there is also a cool feature let's for example press and when you press now this menu is a little uh, new and now you, when you press set as you have three different uh, options to set or you can go also here in the, on, the, on the little menu and here you can just see four uh, options but when you press on status again opens that uh, three options from uh, where you want to set us as lock screen background uh, and so on and now when you edit also this was improved a little not so not many features but it's good that they are coming um, i don't like that you can now go sc scroll on like this on right left um, it's pretty nice so what more there was um, Microsoft Edge mm, 
it feels a little smoother, not faster, a little smoother, but I will not say that it's, uh, it's much better than previous ones. Uh, it still feels uh, kind of slow and sometimes, as for example, YouTube. And there needs, uh, Microsoft Edge needs, uh, needs some animations. For example, when you go to some page, it needs some animation, not just like uh, go f straight or just like uh, a white page. But it works. Uh, it works okay. Let's, for example, go in uh, um, Bing. Bing.com. I never use Bing here, so it doesn't appear. As you can see, it goes straight to the page. It needs some animation on. Um, it also needs some Im improvements because sometimes it's al it also crashes. Um, and now, uh, this feature was before on uh, devices with 5 inch or bigger. When you press on the home screen and you keep pressing, it, uh, the screen it goes smaller so you can use only with one hand. So this feature was was before but on devices with um, five, 5 inches or uh, bigger and but how this is 4.5 or 4.7 and there was there was not this feature and now they they bring it which is uh, i mean the device is not so big but it's good that the feature is there i mean if i will use it or not okay it's it's my problem but let it be there so sometimes maybe i'll use it maybe when i'm i mean when i'm in public uh and i need only one hand yeah, it's pretty useful when you have this hamburger menus on this side. With one hand you can't go there, but now you can go there, so it's pretty nice. Um, so yeah guys, um, think twice if you want to install this uh, build or insider preview. Um, I installed, this is my daily driver uh, smartphone. Uh, I also have... Uh, a, who are subscribers to me, they know I also have the Sony Xperia Z. So I have both worlds, Android and, smart and Windows Phone. I'm not like a fanboy, I use both and I love both. Um, and this is my daily driver and I use it from yesterday to today uh, without many problems or major problems. Like there's many some crashes here and there, let me show you, for example, one crash here. Um, the new addition they added, it's this Z storage. This is the storage, but it's still, I think it's not working. You can see when you open, it goes straight to crash. So yeah, but there will be many, some more improvements on this ROM, on this build. I keep saying ROM because I just uh, installed the ROM on Android and keep saying ROM, ROM. Um, but yeah, I, I think Microsoft is going on right direction, but still there's need some improvements and uh, some fixes. And I would love if they add, for example, when you swipe down here to be transparent or when you press the volume, this one to be transparent like on, Win like on uh, Windows 10 for desktop. When you go in volume on Windows 10 for desktop, uh, this one is actually transparent. So I would love if Microsoft could, could add uh, transparent, this uh, part transparent or action center transparent. I already... Uh, typed on the and on the insider feedback feedback or whatever it's called windows feedback uh, but of course it depends if microsoft will will uh, want to bring this uh, option or not but i would love to have this option for me i mean i'm good to use this uh, windows 10 the only thing i i i will miss is only the transparent thing here on the action center on vol volume and whatever whatever more it, it will be so i hope one day or in future builds uh, microsoft will bring this feature and yeah so i think guys if you want to install the rom the build rom again uh, it's pretty stable um don't don't worry if you install as a daily driver on a daily driver smartphone it will work perfectly yeah, some bugs here and there. If you are scared of minimum bugs, then yeah, don't install. But if you are okay with minimum bugs or crashes sometimes, then it's pretty fine. And yeah, 
I see you on the next one, guys. See you.